Here's a 78-year-old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. It has been a constant stream of, of gripes and grievances that, that's actually been getting worse now that he's afraid of losing the common. There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. Meanwhile, I go for Donald Trump. I go for Trump. Who are you voting for in 2024? Trump too. And why is that, man? He's the best president ever. Has Barack Obama done anything for around here? And these he never did anything since he's been in office. Yeah. And I'm glad he out. Trump the best. Barack Obama? Man, I ain't got no message to tell. I don't mess with Barack Obama. Yeah. Nah, I'm a Trump supporter. Trump do more for black people and care more about black people. And Barack Obama ain't black. Just let that be known. All right. <laughs> what about Kamala Harris? I don't f with her either. All Trump, Trump all day. But as we embrace this renewed sense of hope, let us not forget the despair we have felt. Let us not forget what we are up against. Yes, Kamala and Tim are doing great now. We're loving it. They're packing arenas across the country. Folks are energized. We are feeling good. But remember, there are still so many people who are desperate for a different outcome, who are ready to question and criticize every move Kamala makes, who are eager to spread those lies who don't want to vote for a woman, who will continue to prioritize building their wealth over ensuring that everyone has enough. Meanwhile, Fox News alert, a brand new House GOP impeachment report finding that Joe Biden committed impeachable offenses that financially helped his family but hurt the country. The report states, quote, in certain circumstances, the president may be impeached for the actions of subordinate officials. The totality of the corrupt conduct uncovered by the committees is egregious. President Joe Biden conspired to commit influence peddling and grift. In doing so, he abused his office and by lying repeatedly about his abuse of office has defrauded the United States to enrich his family. Pam Bondi is a former Florida attorney general and a Trump campaign surrogate, and she joins us now. Pam, good morning to you. So this report is coming out on the same day that Joe Biden is going to be passing the baton on over to Kamala Harris with a speech that he's giving tonight. But what do you think about the content in this report and where things go from here? You know, Carly, much of it is shocking, but some is not surprising. You know, Fox has done great reporting on this over the years, and it's really frightening for the American people because what this report says is while Joe Biden was vice president, his family, they were living a very lavish lifestyle, we all know, and they took $27 million from foreign individuals and foreign entities, $27 million, and then they said $8.5 million were in loans, yet there's no documentation of these loans, and none of the loans, of course, were ever repaid. So um, it dealt with countries like Ukraine, we all know, Romania, Kazakhstan, Russia, China. You know, it's very frightening for national security. And we also know that he took documents home while he was vice president, very sensitive classified documents, that he had no legal right as vice president to do. So it's very troubling. And, you know, it's extremely dangerous for our national security and the American people. Meanwhile, we need, we need Kamala Harris help and then follow our leader, Kamala. Meanwhile, thank you, baby. Did you see Barack Hussein Obama last night? Take little shots. He was taking shots at your president. And so was Michelle. You know, they always say, sir, please stick to policy. Don't get personal. And yet they're getting personal all night long, these people. Do I still have to stick to policy? They're going at levels of speed that nobody thought was possible. Do you know, that was our technology that was stolen by Russia. 
and Russia has them, and I started them very quickly. But somebody gave Russia, years ago, before me, all of our plans and specs for hypersonic missiles, and they built them, and we didn't. He said, Bill Clinton, it could be. It might have been, in all fairness, it might have been a little after Bill Clinton. I used to like Bill Clinton, can you believe it? It, it, it could have been Barack Hussein Obama, perhaps, we should ask him. Now, he was very nasty last night. I try and be nice to people, you know? But it's a little tough when they get personal. Please, again, remember? Please, sir, don't get personal. Talk about policy. Let me ask you about that. We're going to do a free poll. Here are the two questions. Should I get personal? Should I not get personal? Ready? Should I get personal? Should I not get personal? I don't know. My advisors are fired. 